The jury just left a couple of minutes ago. They'll start deliberating in the morning. Now, defense attorneys claim that investigators ignored certain evidence were determined to pin these murders on Alan Wade, but prosecutors say all of the roads led right back to Alan Wade. In their closing argument, Alan Wade's defense told jurors investigators made the murders of Sarah and Susan Wolf a priority because, quote, these are white women who were found in their house from a very nice family. His attorney claiming police ignored a more likely suspect, Sarah's boyfriend. Surprisingly, she did concede it was Alan Wade seen in this Sunoco video soon after Sarah's car was abandoned and that these were his sweatpants left behind near the car. But she suggested Alan Wade didn't put the there. For the prosecution, Assistant District Attorney Bill Petulo said whatever theories the defense comes up with, they quote, can't scrub away the DNA from under Susan Wolf's fingernails. DNA that authorities say likely came from Wade. Petula lined up evidence across the room, literally forming a path right to Wade. The motive for the murders, he said, robbery. He knew he was living next to a personal ATM. Wade stealing the sisters' bank cards, beating Susan until he got their pen number written on this business business card, then using it to withdraw $600 and returning to their house next door to his own close to 3 a.m. to scrub the evidence with bleach. Wade is facing two counts of homicide along with one charge for burglary, and if found guilty, he could face the death penalty. Reporting live at the Allegheny County Courthouse, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Bye.